Guzhou 4.0 has been in beta for a little over two months. And the overall future completeness, stability and usability have improved a lot during that time. So today I'm going to be talking about things why you should start using Guzhou 4.0. Remember, Guzhou 4 is still in beta, there are a lot of bugs to solve, the loading times are also very long, so maybe it's difficult to use it making a complete project. But anyway, there are a lot of other features too. Now let's start. The first thing I really like about Guzhou 4 is the new interface these new buttons this new interface with the 2d creator root node this is all a new user interface the file system window is also different from Goodow 3 also if i start to add uh, to my uh, root node some other nodes for example i'm going to search for area 2d also i'm going to add to this area a collision shape 2d and also a sprite uh, i really like these uh, lines you can see that are highlighted uh, depending on the hierarchy of the node because this sprite uh, inherits from this area and this area inherits from node 2d whereas if i click on the collision shape this collision shape also has its own line we know that one of the most important disadvantages about using Guzhou is the 3d mode because it's not powerful enough well i have here a video about the official page of Guzhou 4.0 and these are uh, the new graphics the new illumination system that Guzhou 4 has as you can see uh, it's very good it has a lot of details for example in the shadows in the lights etc dynamic effects are also crazy then we have some other features about the shaders with some complex things i don't really understand at all there are some other changes in the physics and in the rigid bodies of Goudou 4. Now I want to tell my opinion and I also want you to, to post a comment saying your opinion about Goudou 4. First of all, these are not all the changes that Goudou 4 is having. In addition, a lot of more betas I think will be released, so Guto 4 is not finished yet. But until now, I can say that Guto 4 is pretty look, pretty good looking. The user interface, I'm fascinated with that new user interface because it keeps being an easy user interface and it just looks prettier. I like to make the comparison between Unity's UI and Goodot UI and I always say that Goodot's Goodot one is always better because of simplicity, as simple as that. Then about the rendering, the graphical stuff let's say, I think the changes are great, they are really helpful when you are using uh, 3D for example but i think that's not enough because unity or unreal are much better in these uh, graphical things i think we all agree that Godot 3 is a great game engine i really like Godot. i've used Godot for maybe uh, one year or 10 months something like that my experience was incredibly good and then I changed to Unity because it has some errors, uh, some things I didn't like, the community wasn't big enough. But well, uh, let's always remember that uh, Gujo is uh, not as elder as Unity. That's why the community is not giant. Also, Gujo is a non-profit project. I even think it was developed by indie developers so i think the progress that these people are making is just incredible 
but nowadays I think that if you want to really make 3D games with a lot of graphical stuff you want to also find a job because I haven't seen a job that they require you to know about Godot they usually require you to know about Unity or Unreal well of course Unity and Unreal would be splendid options anyway leave your opinion in the comments below if you want and see you on the next one bye bye